What's up, good people, aka winners? And that's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. Ha! I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, picky. That's you know that's me scratching the record, right? Picky, picky, picky. You know what I mean? Like, if y'all didn't know that, now you know. Anyway, I am super duper happy. And today is actually Juneteenth. Y'all know it's a federal holiday now. But y'all not gonna get this video on Juneteenth, though. But look at me. So, what I wanna do is, I kinda wanna match my shirt. But I wanna make it as subtle as possible, because that's pretty bright. But I am going to use this eyeshadow palette that I used for the first time. Um, Well, not the first time, but like, I, the first time I used that banging blue. I did a look real quick um, and listen while I'm getting this look ready go on and subscribe go on and subscribe baby baby go on and subscribe to the channel so we can be besties here on the tube <laughs> to, and turn your notifications on too okay so let me show you what I did right here like I did I used this palette this is on, I hope y'all can see that. Bam, plack out, boom, pow. Ooh. So I did that. I posted that on my Instagram. I might have posted it on my stories here. I don't remember. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, like, what are you doing in life? What are you doing with your life? I'm just asking. Asking for a friend. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I got to really play in this palette and I'm gonna play in it today. Um, and this is not what the video is about, but I'm going to be using this color right here. It's kind of like a yellow gold and it is almost identical to my shirt. The product that I'm about to share, I, I let me get my phone too because I'm gonna read to you about it. But all I wanna know is, or all I wanna tell y'all is, this product is a game changer changer for my makeup. It saves a whole step in eyeshadow application, especially if I'm doing like some popping eyeshadow, even if I'm not doing popping eyeshadow. So I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm about to like, I'm about to lay, I'm about to lay it out for y'all. Um, but let me tell you what it is first. Okay. It is an eyeshadow base. What I want to know is, first of all, where has this been all my life? And secondly, why y'all been holding out on me? Because I know that y'all knew about this, okay? I think that my makeup artist out here in Los Angeles, um, she, I, I believe she told me about this. I can't remember. She was like, you haven't heard of that? And I'm like, uh-uh. But I, I think this is what she was showing me, but it was some kind of base. And I'm almost positive it was this. And then recently, I don't even know how it came about that I saw this P. Louis um eyeshadow base I, I believe that they sell this in the uk but i was able to get mine from morphe cosmetics so i went online and i ordered 05 i tried to order 06 which is this one but it was sold out on the site so i was like it must be really popping okay and so i ended up going to the delamo mall out here in los angeles right and I found six. So five is on the way. We'll do a separate video when five comes. This one we're gonna talk about today. Like, the, la, g, la, mm -mm. let me just read you this. I already have it up on my phone. Let me tell you what the description says about it. It says this luxe creamy eyeshadow base creates the perfect blank canvas for making shades pop. Okay, um, <laughs> the thick full coverage formula doesn't crack. So it's ideal for canceling out imperfections and carving out brows. Y'all, they have it from pure white all the way to deepest with neutral undertones and that's number 11. Now I may end up getting um, seven or eight because it says seven is deep with brick undertones and eight is deep with warm brick undertones. But the one I got today, um, six, that is deep with golden undertones, which is perfect for me. And then the five I got, which is warm tan with neutral golden undertones. Another thing I'm gonna be doing a video on today, but this is gonna be in two parts. I'm filming two videos in one. I'm doing a twofer. But I did also pick up this Morphe Hint Tint Skin tint, okay, that's a lot. But I'm gonna use that today and I also picked up their beauty sponge. This joker, I wet it with water and it got huge. Do y'all see how big that is? O-M-G, that is really huge. I've already done my brows, but here's the thing. I scoped underneath with the um, the LA Girl Pro Fawn Concealer, which I still, I still do love that, I do. And then on top, I scoped it with a concealer that is more of my skin tone. And this is the uh, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use multi Sculpting Concealer in Chestnut. But guess what though? But guess what? But wait though. But guess what? 
I don't have to use this on my lid. I used to use this on my lid to mute out the discoloration, but <laughs> praise the Lord. So listen, I would use the concealer and then I would set the concealer with powder because it seems like it would, you know, hold it in place. And then after I would set the concealer in place, in certain areas where I wanted to, you know, use a base for my eyeshadow so it can pop and stay in place all day, I would use my LA Girl um, primer, the Pro Primer, right? I was using that. So that's literally like two steps. One, two. I'm not gonna, I almost tossed it, but I, we're not gonna, we, cause I like it. But this is like those two steps in one. And you don't have to set it with the powder. So anyway, I am going to like, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna blend it so you can get an idea. Then I'm gonna play shadow. Cause I, you know, I'm not gonna do one eye with it and one eye without because I actually have a video to record today. I have like, I have other things I have to do. And like, I can't be off. Like my makeup has to match. Okay. So there it is. And look at this, like, look how creamy. And I feel like this has a neutral tone to it. Hold on, because I'm looking and it's backwards. Look how thick and creamy this is. But let, let's do it like they tell you, right? You just pat it on there. So it's really close to my skin tone, but it does have like some neutral tones. It, I know it says golden, but it's giving me all kinds of neutral. So on this side right here, this is without, this is the yellow without it. But then when you put it on there, like you see how it just gives it more pigment and more color. I don't know if y'all could see that. I mean, it like I see on camera, I know y'all can see that, but I promise you in person, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, and I'm gonna put more on the other side too. Do you see how much more vibrant that is? Like, and that is all, all I did was give you guys a little tester. So where's my wipes? <laughs> where's the wipes? Where's the wipes? But I'm gonna use this Ofra brush. It is um, their number 20 brush, okay? And I'm gonna use this to put it on. This is what I would usually do when I put on concealer. I don't think you guys understand. It mutes out the discoloration. Like I really wanna know what their um, number seven looks like. I should have grabbed seven too. It looked deep though. So anyway, you literally can take this and I'm telling you, I take it as far up, like up to the brow too, because it makes my brow bone highlighter pop. Y'all know I use like a, I use a matte brow bone highlight, but it makes it pop. So I'm going all the way up. I should have started with my right eye. One thing that really, really got me about this product is you don't have to set it. It doesn't feel right that I don't set it because I'm so used to when I'm using a cream product, I'm setting it with powder. But look at the, like I did not use concealer. Do y'all understand? Oh my gosh. I just pat it on. I don't like, you know, like swipe or anything. I just pat it on. Well, so far that's what I've been doing since I got it. But I wanna do one eye at a time. It's not that it's um, recommended that you do one eye at a time, but because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna dry or something and I need to put it on while it's kinda tacky. I only want to do one eye at a time. You feel me? So we're just going to make them the same. I'm going into this Morphe palette. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's one of my favorites. I think it's, what is it called, girl? It is called Ring the Alarm. I always want to say bling. So I'm just going to go in the crease. It's so weird just applying that on top of that, you know, that kind of creamy consistency, but I promise you it works. Like y'all can even see that crease popping. I just find that it's easier to um, pat your stuff on than to blend it when you're putting it on there because that stuff is so tacky, but I found a way to work around it. Just keep blending. Just keep blending, just keep blending. You see how that's popping it? Oh child, I'm telling you, this is something you didn't even know you needed and I can't believe that I'm just now getting my hands on this, all right? Now we're gonna go into this yellow and we're gonna use the same brush that I used when I was doing the test on my hand. And this is the Stalazi brush. I don't even, oh, there you go. It's the S122. I'll put links to that as well. And then you take your shadow and you just tap it. Baby, do you see that? Do you see her? I didn't even know if I wanted to go this bright today, but doggone it, we here. So I'm going to, whenever I take shadows, I simply, I go like all the way up here because I don't have a whole lot of lid space. And I ain't gonna say I fake it till I make it because like you don't grow lid space, you know? And now that we connect it, it's like me and you must never part my key, da, da. I would say that it's my skin tone, but it just has, it's, it's kind of, 
more cool, a little neutral, but it works. All right, so now we're just gonna go in again and I'm kind of doing it, I'm just, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm doing it with a light hand, but I'm just in amazement. It's wet and it's not causing a problem with my shadow. And when I say wet, it's not like super wet, but it's just not like super dry. It's not super matte and dry. And I just find that freaking amazing that it's sitting there and it's not causing a problem. It's not making my shadow skip or anything. After I finish this eye look with you guys and show you like the brow bone highlight and all that, I'm gonna do lashes and liner and I'll just come back and show you the finished look. Just dab it, dab on them, dab on them. And to me, this would be great for hooded lids because it says, uh oh, girl. It says um, no creasing, not creasing. It says no cracking. To me, it's like, you know, no creasing. I'm probably gonna take a little bit of this Morphe 3502 and go into that color rich, which you guys know I do that frequently. Wait, right there, that color rich, I'm gonna go into her and I'm just gonna kinda carve it. So I'm going into Universal. That is this shade that has hip pan right there. Favorite, favorite, but watch, watch the difference. Like I've never seen Universal pop like this. Check it out, cause I put that base up there, look. I said P. Louise, girl, look at that. I'm going to do a liner and then clean up on aisle seven and I'll be right back and we'll see what else we're going to do with it, how we're going to make it work, okay? But it's going to work. It has no choice. Everything worked out. It worked out. What I ended up doing, and I forgot to tell you guys the brush, I used the Morphe M506 brush and I just simply deepened it right here with that color rich from the Morphe palette. I did the wing and come closer. I have a secret for you. I have a confession. I have a confession. So this wing was like, See whoop. No, I'm just kidding. This wing had a little bit of swoop to it, right? While this one is just like, eh, eh, eh. But I had a decision to make. It was redo the wing or pop them lashes on and ain't no thing, right? Like, and then, you know, all is well. And I don't think you can really see it unless, like if you're really looking for that, like what, what, what are you doing with your life, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to, because I feel like I could use just a tad bit more to this look to set it off. I put on my Ardell 213 lashes. Um, I told you guys, absolutely love them. That actually says 213. I don't think you can see that because of the white. And so I'm going to take that color rich the same color I use for that. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit under my lash line and it's really gonna make sense when I um, put on my makeup. I got this liner Clinique, is it Clinique? Nope, Marc Jacobs. When I went to Sephora, they gave me this liner, I think it was. I don't know how, I, yeah, I think I got it from um, Sephora when I placed an order or something or went in the store or something, girl, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna place a little bit right there. I don't like to bring my liner like all the way out for me, it's just a touch of love, a little bit, and it and it's all as well. So now, this is the end of part one, okay? And so you know if this video drops first, or whether it drops first or not, you still gotta watch the other video to see what I'm gonna do with the face, cause I'm about to try this Morphe, what is it called? Hint, no wait. Hint, hint, skinned, hint. So make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss it, all right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And you know, I might just see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover.